Welcome to Cooking with Hilda. I am so happy that you're here with me today because today we are gonna make K-Pops with the shape of a cute little ice cream. Ice cream popsicles, cakesy pops, <laughs> I don't know how to call them, but they're very cute and delicious. And you can decorate them according to the theme of the party you're gonna give, perfect for birthday parties, baby showers, gender reveal, whatever kind of party or meeting you are gonna give. These are elegant, beautiful, and easy to make. And the best part is they're never going to melt. So let's make them. To make these little cute desserts, you need these kind of molds. You can buy it in your favorite store. And what I like to do before starting is I like to set them for a few minutes inside the fridge. That way, when I coat them with the chocolate, it's gonna be thick and it's not a, be like a very thing and it's gonna break very easily, chocolate. So I let it inside the fridge for a few minutes to get it cold. And I choose the kind of chocolate I want to cover it. Now, choose the color you wanna use to cover this mold. Try to cover the sides. I like to cover the sides first and let by gravity to calm the chocolate to cover the rest of the mold. So I cover all the sides, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> and by gravity is just gonna cover the front of the mold. And let it set inside the fridge for a couple minutes until set. You will also need these little popsicle sticks. Now it's time for the filling. And you can go as crazy or as simple and basic that you want. You can even go to the store and buy an already made cake. Just crumble it. Today I use my homemade chocolate cake and a delicious homemade salted caramel that I mix and I added walnuts for that little surprise when somebody bites this delicious dessert. You can use any kind of nuts or raisins or fruit or even a little mousse inside of the cake. That surprise would be nice. But today I use this. So you grab the filling and fill the mold, being very careful because we don't want to break the chocolate without pressure. So be careful and gentle and fill it and now you cover it with more chocolate. Now it's time to introduce this little stick. Introduce it well and we cover it with the rest of the chocolate. Some people like to leave these K-Pops inside the fridge before putting the final chocolate coat. I don't like it personally because I, I think like the cake is gonna dry if you do that. So I cover it first and let, then let it in the fridge for a couple more minutes before decorating. So now it's time for the fun part, the decoration. And this you can go as crazy as you want to. Today I choose to just drizzle it with different kind of chocolate and use the sparkling things and shiny powders like always. <laughs> Isn't it cute and beautiful? <laughs>
thank you guys for being one more time here with me in cooking with hilda and please as always if you like this video and found value in it please give it a thumbs up see you guys next time